hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is fen and on today's episode i'm just going to answer some questions but before i dive into that i'd like to say thank you to my new subscribers to my old subscribers and guys thank you for the feedback and everything you've just been doing so on this episode i'm just going to answer three mostly asked questions in my dm on facebook instagram and on whatsapp so guys stay tuned and yeah let's now just dive right in what is lab tech all about for this question i have four responses and here's my first one um so lab tech is basically just conducting and supporting scientific investigations and experiments what do i mean so this is just um answering questions through research let's take for instance somebody is accused of raping someone they're going to get the victim in question and you know run some tests on them by searching or testing them for any form of fingerprints on their body or maybe carrying out some vaginal swaps to know if the person indeed really did rape that person so we get to like pin down who is at fault and who is not to give witnesses to scenarios where there are no witnesses by providing um, a dna profile of things that we are co that are collected there are things like saliva nails dandruff all those things that have cells to just you know get the dna and pin down the perpetrators or the culprits so it's very interesting too that is why we lab technologists work in forensic labs we can call ourselves fbi investigators if it was in the usa i mean what can i say which brings me to my second point recording analyzing and interpreting so let me just break it down for you so recording basically means taking measurements or collecting the data during the experiment while analyzing involves examining and processing the collected data then interpretation just is trying to make the sense from the results or drawing conclusions based on the analysis given yeah putting a puzzle together piercing a puzzle together to know the end thing. How much in? Do you see these hands? Do they look scared to you? No, they don't. <laughs> Which brings me to my third point. Um, we collect and we prepare, then we test the samples. Just like I have been doing, just like we have been doing at the place where I'm currently doing my attachments from. We collect soil samples. We prepare soil samples and then we test them for pH, calcium, and the other factors that you would want to test your samples. Two, four. Yeah. That's what we do, and I don't look scared to you. My fourth point we plan, we set up, and undertake controlled experiments and trials. Because we are professionals, yo. So. Someone asked, what are the advantages of studying lab tech? Well, Science Laboratory Technology offers broad range of career opportunities in various fields such as environmental science, food science, health and forensic science, among others, radiation sciences, food science, all those types. And of course, there is work, um, work place flexibility, behind the scenes work like working in a forensic lab, cross between science, tech and healthcare, fast entry in the workforce, diverse career options, employment growth, guys, come on. So what is the difference between science laboratory technology, medical laboratory technology and microbiology? I'm about to dive right into it. So science laboratory technology, which is what I'm doing, these technologists are technicians and they focus on the fundamental principles of the biological and physical sciences and they emphasize on on analytical laboratory techniques and applications specialty in the realms of chemistry and biology so from these realms i'm majoring in biology and not chemistry so peace out while msl which is medical laboratory science is a clinical science course 
with specialization on medical microbiology and parasitology, biology and mycology, public health and epidemiology, hospitology and cytopathology, chemical pathology or clinical chemistry, etc. So this is a medical laboratory scientist with option in medical microbiology and has knowledge in bacteriology, mycology and etc etc so these guys you see here are the future microbiologists <laughs> yeah baby so you might ask who is a microbiologist or what is microbiology so microbiology is the study of microscopic organisms such as bacteria so bacterium is a member of a large group of unicellular microorganisms which have cell walls but they lack organelles and an organized nucleus including some that can cause diseases <laughs> pretty interesting then we have a virus so a virus is a sub microscopic infectious agent that replicates only inside the living cell of an organism so viruses they infect all life forms from animals plants to microorganisms including bacteria and then we have <laughs> the fungi <laughs> i used to pronounce it as fungi but because of my lecture he always pronounces it as fungi so a fungus is any member of the group of the eukaryotic organisms that include microorganisms such as yeasts and molds. This is a Candida tropicalis yeast, and then this is the Rhizopus um, mold. It is mostly found on bread. Then here we have the Cryptococcus and the Candida. The C is the Cryptococcus, and then the D is the Candida. And then we have a Protozoa. And that's how it looks like. Let me not turn this into a biology class. <laughs> so um, microbiology is the disciplinary that includes fundamental research on the biochemistry, the physiology, cell biology, ecology, evolution, and clinical aspects of microorganisms, including the host's response to the agents. For this episode, we've now come to an end. I would like to say thank you for staying tuned. And guys, your feedback, as usual, is highly appreciated. If you want to like ask me questions, you can leave a comment in the comment section. Or you can inbox me on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. My users are Fen Ngambu. So guys, don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. From this girl, it is just, it's peace out and bye-bye.